All right, let's get to The Light Between Oceans. This one came out in 2016, done by C in France, stars Michael Fassbender, Alicia Vikander, Rachel Weiss, Jack Thompson, Emily Barclay, not a lot of other big names. And the synopsis is a lighthouse keeper and his wife, living off the coast of Western Australia, raise a baby they rescue from a drifting rowing boat. I had seen the previous two movies going into this, so I was very aware of Derek C. in France and was already a big fan of his. I loved Michael Fassbender. This was really done during his prime. I think he's dropped off a little bit over the last few years, but this was not one of his big hits, but came during where he was really killing it every year. I love Alicia Vikander, and I had seen her in Ex Machina right before this, so I, I knew her. I loved her, so I was very excited for the movie. I love period films. I like romantic dramas a lot and any Derek C. in France film I was absolutely there for it's also shot by the cinematographer for the first season of True Detective Assassin's Creed Macbeth and he's done a lot of other great things I think he's one of the best cinematographers working right now Adam Arkapa is his name sorry escaped me for a moment if I had to pick my least favorite of his movies so far it would be this one I still really enjoy it but it is a little bit lesser than blue valentine and definitely a little lesser than place beyond the pines but in terms of recent romantic films not modern in terms of when it's set but modern made romance films this is one that does stick with me i do feel that there are some flaws that that i'll get to in just a minute but it really has a very unique concept and setting it is based off a novel which i i haven't read i am curious to but haven't gotten around to it the biggest, not big flaw, there aren't any big offensive flaws. What I was talking about with, a little bit with Blue Valentine, but more so with Place Beyond the Pines, is his interest in impacts over time and fate and generations. In this one, especially in the third act, is where he just goes a little too far with it. Because the third act, in my opinion, drags. It gets to the point where, all right, we have to see Michael Fassbender as an old guy and then reconnecting with the daughter. And maybe because I've seen two films previous to this, that that deal in some ways with the same things, it feels a little less needed in this movie because there already is so much time spent with those characters and a lot of discussions where you aren't jumping back and forth in time. It's very much set in the present of that world. So that would be the main flaw of the movie in terms of writing, because By that point in the movie, I'm a little ready for it to be over. I feel like I get it, so to speak. But performance-wise, Michael Fassbender and Alicia Vikander are amazing, as they always are, and they're great together. The lighthouse location setting, the cinematography, incredible. The sounds of the movie are amazing. The, The winds, the sand, the waves, everything, you really feel like you're there. And Adam Arkapa is great at capturing that soundscape and a very rustic real world which makes him perfect for Derek C in France so visually sound design the movie is top notch and I would say better than Blue Valentine and Place Beyond the Pines in that way even though it's a very silly it's meant to be not silly but a little stylized a little romanticized where Alicia Vikander can't get pregnant or she keeps having miscarriages and then suddenly a baby washes up on shore somehow and they're like all right well it doesn't have a family seemingly let's take it and adopt it as our own and they do and then rachel vice's character enters the picture and she's actually the mom so i like all those conflicts and then alicia vikander having the conflict of all right i've raised the baby since not since it was born but since it was very very young and i thought that the parents were dead so it is kind of, in some ways, my child, but then Rachel Weiss's character saying, all right, well, I'm alive, I gave birth to it, and I'm here, let me have it. So that conflict, and that comes more so from the, the books, of course, but that conflict is something I've never really seen in a film before or since, so I really like that idea. That comes more so in the end, because really, even when they're just living as a family together, at the lighthouse i really like that even before actually come to think of it my least favorite part of the movie is where rachel vice's character comes in because really as just a romance of them 
finding this child and raising it is interesting to me. I was really enjoying that. And so I feel like when it gets a little bit more conflict and messy in terms of those characters and ideas and, and all that, that's where it suffers a little bit. Not a lot, but if I had to point something out, it would be that. One of my favorite parts of the movie is where Alicia Vikander's characters, I believe, having the miscarriage and Michael Fassbender's up in the lighthouse during that huge storm and she's trying to make it up those stairs and the rain and wind and everything is crashing in. I love that in terms of sound design and direction. That's a really great, scary, visceral moment. Michael Fassbender's character being this World War I veteran who's just wanting to get away because he's so tormented in some ways and finding the perfect way to do it by becoming a lighthouse keeper, getting to be away from everything and everyone, and falling in love with Alicia Vikander. I really like all that stuff. The score's pretty good. It's a little bit sentimental and sappy at times, but the movie itself is very over-the-top in the story and concept, so it makes sense. And it's done by Alexander Desplat, so it's quite a good score. But nevertheless, a slight step down from the others and would be my least favorite of all the ones that we're talking about, but still a very solid romance film that is worth checking out for a variety of reasons. So that is a four out of five.